Uh, Ryan's performance over Javier Fortuna uh, a couple of weeks ago at the beginning of July. Uh, it was a great performance overall, a uh, knockout which he needed. Now the talks are Tank Davis. Has there been any negotiations? Have y'all talked with uh, uh, Tank Davis's camp? What is the, the, the status of that fight right now? Because that's one of the fights that fans are calling and pulling that they want to see, Oscar especially both still, fighters. Oscar is still reaching out. Mm -hmm. As much as he can do to bring two entities that's bringing a super, super fight to the boxing world that will be submitted in that division, which the division before that then passed the torch. It's up to both sides to sit down with their champions and hash it out before before because I don't even think that answered your whole question no. <laughs> that's why I want to finish we ain't gonna do the blame game here no sides is blaming the other side but we should not break the rules of how things supposed to be done if they done correctly. What is that? Do we negotiate as two big powerful companies or do we negotiate through the media and have the third party opinion of the media say who's right and wrong without getting a feelings involved? This is not about feelings. This is about business. This is not even about egos, mm -hmm. which can be kind of treading water when you're dealing with certain individuals. Not necessarily us or them, but it's time yeah. to put them to the side for what? The fighters must be more vocal than a promoter should ever be because that will overshadow the BS behind the business part that will get exposed not only by you but by the promoters who want to see really realistically want to risk, risk their top mm -hmm. or one of the top two or three or four or five depending on how much you have in your camp win record versus a loss status versus Super status. First, Ryan's willing to do whatever he needs to do to fight. Even going he's to willing, he's willing, willing and able mm -hmm. to fight the fights that he already been very vocal about. Mm -hmm. ASAP. ASAP. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you get the other fighters to not only say it, but say it every time a camera get in their face. See, say it and get a four or five month in between or a month in between and it dies down and they got to pick it back up. But why this fight haven't happened? We'll be in January very soon. 2023. What are we talking about? You asked me this question next year, early spring? I'd be embarrassed if you ask me this in another five months without having nothing concrete. Embarrassed because of what? Embarrassed because I'm in the business, I'm on the business side now. I'm on the my opinion side also. Not embarrassed because of us, because I promise you it won't be because of us. It won't be because we didn't want the fight. It because the fighter didn't really really want the fight based on it's his life, it's his career. Let them deal with the business part. You deal with being the business and the greatness you can achieve, achieve out of that. And until a fighter's career is over with, guess what? Then they'll talk about what they should have, could have did. Bernard, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank for you. I hope to be. Thank you so much.